Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here at the Fast Lane Truck and behind me a very special concept. This is the Jeep Comanche concept. It's a pickup truck and it's based on a very interesting vehicle because it's a car. This is based on the Renegade and it has a two liter diesel engine from overseas and a winch and a six foot bed. And coming up next, I'm gonna drive it. Let the debate begin. Small pickup trucks in America, non-existent. Mark Allen, who I don't always agree with, but in this particular case, wanting a small pickup truck that's actually off-road capable, that's cool. And it doesn't exist, so why not build it? Now this is the same course as last year, and last year we had an opportunity to drive a few really beefy Wrangler-based vehicles. This is not a Wrangler, not at all. One thing I really like about this vehicle in terms of its overall size, I'm able to see the rear end of it and it's just right there. What you're hearing, by the way, I think is the wheels rubbing a little bit and the rear wheel wells. This is a, looks like a mostly composite setup that they have. I gotta tell you, when I saw this bed up close, it certainly looked like it was production ready. It looked like something that came out of a factory as opposed to something that was dissected in pieces and put together for a one-off. Does it mean that this is what the bed of the next Wrangler pickup truck's gonna look like? Probably not, but they really like the whole military look. They really like that. Which is one of the reasons why this vehicle has a few touches here and there that make it look like it's a military machine. This is great, we get a chance to really test this thing in terrain that's uh, well, not easy, really. Would a regular Renegade be okay here? Eh, maybe. I think that the, um, the angle of attack in this vehicle is pretty good. Departure angles, well, you know, they're, <laughs> they need a little help. You want me to cross over here? Yep, go for it. I'll be the one to yell that, so we're all good. All right. And then follow him. All right. There we go. Sorry, guys. So, the uh, overall ride is actually not too bad if you forget about the noise. The longer wheelbase actually makes this thing feel like a real little truck. Just like a regular Renegade steering. It's actually got a pretty decent amount of weight to it, but it's um, it's artificial. It's okay. I really like just looking back and seeing that bed back there. That's so freaking cool. One of the things they did is they put the tire inside the bed, directly behind the cab, and they kind of lowered it in a little bit. So even though it's a six foot bed, you're losing about a foot to where the tire is, so five foot bed. But it solves the problem of putting the tire underneath the vehicle or behind it on the tailgate. So it's an interesting solution. I've seen stuff like this before with customizers, but it's a cool idea. Will they do it with a production vehicle? Mm, I don't think so. I think there's some issues. First of all, I don't know how many of you guys would buy a two passenger vehicle that's a small pickup. That's a big question. Remember, Toyota recently discontinued their Tacoma, which had the standard cab. Reason why? Well, because you guys weren't buying them. So it's interesting to see what this vehicle will yield in the near future. But I think that with enough feedback, both good and bad, they may look at something like this and think about production. Could you imagine that? Now, if they managed to make a four-door, five-passenger version of this, it would be awesome because it would go right up against the Ridgeline. And if Hyundai decides to build the Santa Cruz, go up against the Santa Cruz as well which would be really cool. So there you go, fun little drive, <laughs> a lot of fun, in a really slick little pickup truck design. Now please respond below our video as to how much you love or hate it.
Thank you so much for joining me. If you've noticed in the background, there are a lot of Jeep vehicles, both trucks and cars. So don't forget to go to TFL Car to see these prototypes in action. Roman and I are going to be driving them all week. For the Fastline Truck, this is Nathan Adler. Don't forget to go to TFLTruck.com for news, views, real world reviews, and more Jeep trucks. See ya. When we first started thinking about doing this, the first sketches, honestly, were just take, to make a pickup truck, just take the body side and extrude it back. Uh, we worked on it a little bit more, and then the idea of, if you remember the new Kaiser, it's a very military looking box. It's almost a trailer box on the back of the vehicle. That's where this came from. And then it started to really work for us. Um, really to make the vehicle look a, a bit basic, definitely military overtones to it. That explains sort of the, uh, the soft top as, as well. Inside we added a full cage, so there's a, there's a hoop and then an A to B bar. Uh, and that ties into the shock towers of the, of the stock vehicle in the back there. Steel bumper on the back is a 